The truth about Sarah Geronimo, Sarah Asher Tua Geronimo Gaselli, born July 25, 1988, is a Filipino singer, dancer, actress, and record producer. Geronimo rose to prominence in 2002, after winning the television singing contest Star for a Night earning her a recording contract with Viva Records and released her debut album Pop Star, A Dream Come True in 2003. Geronimo's accolades included a Met Asian Music Award in 2012, a MTV Europe Music Award in 2014, a World Music Award in 2014, and a Classic Rock Roll of Honor Award in 2016. Life and Career, 1988-2003, Early Beginnings and Star for a Night, Sarah Asher Tua Geronimo was born on July 25, 1988, in Santa Cruz, Manila, Philippines to Dolphin Geronimo, a retired PLDT employee, and Davina Tua, who ran a beauty salon in their house. She is the third of four children. She started singing publicly at age two. At the age of four, she was accompanied by her mother to join auditions for different television programs. Geronimo became part of the shows Pimp and Disarapin, four to six years old, Ang TV, seven to eight years old, and next, eight to nine years old. She has also played as an extra in the movie Sarah. Ang Monting Princessa, 1995. 7. In between auditions, Geronimo would perform at shopping malls and hotel lounges. Geronimo, then age 7, was one of the performers during the 1995 visit of Pope John Paul II. Geronimo at an early age joined different singing contests the first of which was Tuckless Tallino sponsored by the Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company, PLDT. Citation Needed In 2002, Geronimo competed on the television singing contest Star for a Night airing in IBC. At the age of 14, she won the grand prize that included 1 million and a managerial contract from Viva Entertainment. Geronimo released her first album Pop Star, A Dream Come True in 2003. Her acting debut was a supporting role in the film Filipinas, 2003. She had another supporting role in Captain Barbell, 2003. 2004 to 2007, The Other Side and In Motion, still managed by Viva, Geronimo signed a TV contract with ABS-CBN Network in 2004. 8. She starred in her first television series, Sarah the Teen Princess, 2004, and became a regular host and performer on the variety show ASAP, 2004 present. Geronimo again had supporting roles in the films Music of Saw Dibdab, 2004, Annie B. 2004, and Lastikman, on Ang Banat, 2004. Geronimo sang the Philippine National Anthem at the pre-inaugural ceremonies of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo on June 30, 2004. In November 2004, Geronimo released her second album, Sweet 16 that included the single, How Could You Say You Love Me? Geronimo performed in the Night of the Champions concert at the Araneta Coliseum with other singing competition winners Rochelle Ango and Eric Santos. In 2005, Geronimo joined the cast of the teen-oriented television program SEQ Reload, Killing Auto and hosted two seasons of the singing competition show Little Big Star, 2005-2007. On September 30, 2005, Geronimo staged a solo concert at Araneta Coliseum entitled The Other Side. In 2006, Geronimo starred in ABS-CBN's primetime soap opera, Bitchewing Wild and Ninning, a remake of the 1985 movie. She played the role of an aspiring singer named Corina Pinetta, originally played by Sharon Cunetta in the movie, and released a soundtrack of the series. In July 2006, Geronimo released her third studio album, Becoming, produced by Christian De Walden. The album yielded three singles, I Still Believe in Loving You, Carry My Love and Ian Gate and Koang Pang Ibig Mo. On November 18, 2006, Manny Pacquiao chose Geronimo to sing Lu Pangeniran, the Philippine national anthem, before his match against Mexico's Eric Morales at the Thomas and Max Center in Las Vegas. Geronimo staged her second major solo concert in motion on July 14, 2007, at the Araneta Coliseum. Unlike her first solo concert, this concert went off with no technical glitches. She spent the rest of 2007 performing concerts in the Philippines and the U.S. and recording her fourth studio album, Taking Flight, which sold more than 60,000 units and achieved double platinum status. In the latter half of 2007, Geronimo appeared in her third television series for ABS-CBN, Pang Rap Na 2008-2010, the next one and record breaker. Sarah Geronimo performing in London in 2009, in early 2008, Geronimo reunited with Eric Santos, Rochelle Ango, and Christian Bautista in a Valentine's Day concert at the Araneta Coliseum, entitled OL4 Love. Before Geronimo released her fifth studio album, she released I'll Be There as the fourth single from Taking Flight. 
On July 30, 2008, Geronimo starred with Filipino actor John Lloyd Cruz in A Very Special Love which was produced by Star Cinema and Viva Films and grossed almost 180 million. The movie opened with 14 million and Issa V. Red of the Manila Standard today said, This only proves that the new generation of Filipino movie audience is ready for their own screen heroine, not someone passed on to them by their parents or grandparents. Geronimo included a track from the film, A Very Special Love, on her album Taking Flight. Geronimo's fifth studio album, Just Me, included a duet with Backstreet Boys member Howie Dorow entitled, I'll Be There. The Walden again produced this album. Like her previous albums, Just Me achieved platinum status in December 2008. She was recognized for this accomplishment on the 2008 ASAP Platinum Circle Awards show. On November 8, 2008, Geronimo staged her third major solo concert in Araneta Coliseum, entitled The Next One, which marked the first time she accompanied herself on the piano while on stage. Geronimo's Just Me album was re-released, adding You Changed My Life. She was also recognized by ASAP for attaining platinum status for her albums Taking Flight and Just Me and for her two concert DVDs, The Other Side and Sarah in Motion. In February 2009, Geronimo made a movie again with John Lloyd Cruz in You Changed My Life, the sequel of A Very Special Love. The film's total theatrical earnings earned over 230 million, and holds when? The record for the highest grossing Filipino movie made. Geronimo traveled to the U.S. in March to April 2009 for her The Next One tour, where she received positive reviews about her performances. In June 2009, she restaged the Sarah Geronimo, The Next One Philippine Concert Tour. On August 5, 2009 Geronimo was given the honor to sing the Verna Lisa's 1986 People Power Anthem, Majkiza during the funeral of former President Corazon Aquino. Geronimo released a solo Christmas album, Your Christmas Girl in October 2009. In November 2009, she staged her fourth solo sold-out concert, Record Breaker, in the Araneta Coliseum. The Philippine Daily Inquirer called the concert a qualified success. At the same day of her concert, she released her sixth studio album, Music and Me. In December 2009, Your Christmas Girl and Music and Me both reached platinum status after a month of their release. On December 1, 2009, Geronimo received star on the Philippines Walk of Fame at Libis, Eastwood. Geronimo released the DVD Record Breaker, filmed at the Araneta Coliseum, on March 16, 2010, and eventually achieved triple platinum status in December 2010. In April 2010, Geronimo was chosen to endorse an online game called Superstar which was launched by X-Play as an online singing star search. Geronimo also lent her voice in singing its theme song This Is My Dream. In September 2010, Geronimo starred in a musical series entitled One DOL which was aired in ABS-CBN and she appeared in the film Hating Capated under Viva Films. 2011-2012, Catch Me, I'm In Love, Sarah G Live and concerts, in February 2011, she had a Valentine concert with Martin Nievera titled, What Love Is at the Araneta Coliseum. Geronimo worked with Gerald Anderson in the film collaboration of Star Cinema and Viva Films entitled Catch Me, I'm In Love which was shown on March 23, 2011, in theaters nationwide and shown as a summer release in the Philippines. In November 2011, Geronimo made a movie again with Gerald Anderson in Want Last a Day Without You which earned 20 million on its opening day. Citation needed Geronimo signed an exclusive one-year contract with ABS-CBN, it states her future projects and commitments such as having a weekly solo show, an extension as a performer in ASAP Rocks, and a movie with John Lloyd Cruz for the third time. Also this year, Geronimo is declared as the Princess of Philippine Movies by the Guillermo Mendoza Box Office Awards for her movie, Catch Me, I'm In Love Together with Gerald Anderson. In October of the same year, the singer took private lessons on jazz music during her vacation in Yusa. She was also vocally supervised by Yasha Honasan who later on became the writer some of her jazz songs. Geronimo had her solo weekly musical variety show every Sunday night titled Sarah G Live. And her movie with John Lloyd Cruz is in production. In July 2012, Geronimo staged her fifth major solo concert in the Big Dome entitled 24-SG. In November 2012, Geronimo was chosen as the Bayanihan Ambassadress of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. In December 2012, Geronimo won a string of awards one of which is the Best Asian Artist Award, Philippines, at the recently concluded Net Asian Music Awards. Geronimo also won major awards in Aida Awards, Ali Awards and PMPC Star Awards for Music. 
2013-2015, the voice of the Philippines and international activities. In 2013, Geronimo will have her own drama anthology entitled Sarah G Presents. Geronimo is also set to be a coach and judge in the voice of the Philippines. In March 2013, Geronimo received two presidential awards, Audian G. Dangle for Multidisciplinary Arts and National Commission for Culture and the Arts, Philippines, Goodwill Ambassadress for Music. 50. Geronimo is nominated for three categories at the 2013 World Music Awards, WMA, Best Entertainer of the Year, Best Live Act, and Best Female Artist. Also her movie which is shown on March 30, 2013, It Takes a Man and a Woman broke box office records and became the highest grossing Filipino film of all time. In June 2013, Viva Records announced that she will be releasing her 10th studio album on July before her birthday. The album's title was later revealed to be Expressions, which was contained mainly original songs that she co-produced herself. It was released on July 22. On August 8, Geronimo became the brand endorser of Kakao Talk together with K-pop boyman Big Bang. In December 2013, she was elevated into an ACT TV Seal Hall of Famer for being a credible, wholesome and worth emulating by the youth. Geronimo was also nominated for the Best Southeast Asian Act category in the 2013 MTV Europe Music Awards. On May 27, 2014, Geronimo are among acts that won accolades in the 2014 World Music Awards held in Monaco, winning the Best Selling Philippines Artist Award. She became the first Filipino music artist who received an award in the World Music Awards history. On August 26, 2014, Spotify Philippines revealed that Geronimo was one of the most streamed artists within the country alongside band Eraserheads. Geronimo released her 11th studio album titled Perfectly Imperfect on October 4, 2014. The album also included songs which were written by international music producer Adam Hirschfield and Canadian singer Elisa Estrada. The album's lead single, Kilometro, premiered on September 17, 2014, and was written by Thyro and Yumi. Geronimo was voted as the Best Southeast Asia Act at the 2014 MTV Europe Music Awards and was also nominated as Best Southeast Asia, China, Hong Kong, and Taiwanese Act. She was included in BuzzFeed's 2014 list of the 20 Filipino music artists you need to listen right now. Geronimo has been chosen by Disney to reinterpret the theme song of its Princess franchise. In a teaser aired on Disney Channel, Geronimo revealed that she did her own version of the glow and that its music video will premiere on December 6, 2014. In July 2015, Geronimo with her song Kilometro represented the Philippines in the 10th International Song Contest, the global sound hosted by Australian Jury, as one of the 70 semi-finalists from different countries all over the world and later on advanced as one of the top 25 finalists. In the final round, Geronimo was adjudged as the winner and received the Gold Global Sound Award. ISC, the Global Sound confirmed on their Facebook page that this is the first Asian country to win the contest. Geronimo also starred in the blockbuster movie The Breakup Playlist, together with Filipino actor Piolo Pascual, which was shown in cinemas on July 1st. The movie grossed 200 million Philippine pesos. 66. In October 2015, Geronimo was chosen to record Felix Manalo's theme song Ang Sugo Ng Dues Sa MGA Huling Raw and later won Best Movie Theme Song on both PMPC Star Awards for Movies and FAMAS Awards in 2016. Zold Incorporated, the first celebrity mobile games company in the Philippines, tapped Geronimo for its newest gaming app, Sarah G Popsters. The app officially launched on November 24, 2015. In December 2015, for the second consecutive year, Spotify Philippines hailed Geronimo as one of the most streamed Filipino artists alongside bands Eraserheads and Up Dharma Down. On December 9, 2015, Geronimo received her 10th IED Award. At the 28th IED Awards, Perfectly Imperfect was awarded Album of the Year. On December 18, 2015, Geronimo was voted as the Asian Artist of the Year at the Hello Asia K-Pop Awards 2015. 2016 to 2018 endorsements the great unknown this 15 me miss granny and international recognition on february 29 2016 big apple music awards announced on their official twitter account that geronimo has been nominated as best filipino female artist in march 2016 philippine airlines officials led by chairman dr lucio c tan and president jamie j bautista celebrated the airline's 75th anniversary during a gala dinner for pal employees at the smxmoa in pasay city where the flag carrier also unveiled its new advertising campaign the heart of the filipino shining through with top filipino singers sarah geronimo bamboo and lisa longa's endorsers 
On September 21, 2016, Geronimo was named as one of the nominees in the Best Southeast Asian Act for the 2016 MTV Europe Music Awards set on November 6, 2016, at the Ahoy Rotterdam in the Netherlands. On October 12, 2016, Geronimo was the Great Unknown won Best Secular Album in the 38th Catholic Mass Media Awards. This is the second time Sarah received the award, the first was for Perfectly Imperfect Album. Geronimo was recognized as this year's Best Asian Performer during the Classic Rock Awards 2016 held in Tokyo, Japan on November 11, 2016. Geronimo attended the awarding ceremony at the Ryo Goku Kikugakan Stadium in Tokyo, where she performed the song An Act by Freddie Aguilar. On November 29, 2016, Geronimo held her album show entitled The Great Unknown, unplugged in Kia Theater in promotion of her platinum-selling album The Great Unknown. Due to its success, Geronimo brought the show in different provinces in the country including Albi, Pampanga and Iloilo. In March 2017, Geronimo confirmed that she will be returning as one of the coaches of the voice team's Philippines. Geronimo will return to the team's edition along with coaches Bamboo, Sharon Cuneta, and Lisa Longa. On May 15, 2017, US-based world top musicians included her on their website. In July 2017, Geronimo starred in the movie Finally Found Someone with John Lloyd Cruz. The movie served as a reunion movie of Geronimo and John Lloyd Cruz tandem after four years. In January 2018, Geronimo released the single called Sardata and topped the iTunes Philippines chart for four consecutive days. The song also landed on Spotify Philippines viral chart. The official lyric video of the song was published on Viva Records official channel a week later. On April, she released two singles called Guanito and Dion. Both songs topped the iTunes Philippines Songs chart. In March 2018, Geronimo was included at Spotify's Amplify, Women of the World Global playlist with her song Teo in celebration of the Women's Month. She is the only OPM artist included alongside Rihanna, Dua Lipa, CL and more. On April 14, 2018, she held her 15th anniversary concert called This Is Me stylized as This 15 Me at the Araneta Coliseum. The sold-out concert was reported as the highest-grossing local concert of all time. The concert's official hashtag was also the number one trending topic on Twitter Philippines on the day of the concert with over 200,000 tweets, whilst recorded performances from the said concert instantly trended on YouTube Philippines, including her opening number Dulo, her song and dance number for Tala, the rendition of Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing and the rendition of Aerosmith's I Don't Wanna Miss A Thing. Geronimo's take on the Dame 2 Cosita Dance Challenge also went viral on various social media platforms including Facebook. In August 2018, Geronimo starred in her first title role movie Miss Granny, a remake of the 2014 South Korean film of the same name. The film was both critically acclaimed and a commercial success. Her performance was praised by both critics and viewers. Writing for Cosmopolitan Philippines, Romanalo stated in my opinion, this was her, Sarah Geronimo, best performance as an actress to date. No other local female celebrity has the combination of characteristics required for the role, impeccable comedic timing, a talent for drama, a powerful singing voice, and an old soul with an almost manum charm. Sarah was so believable as a 70-year-old woman inside a 20-year-old's body. She is currently nominated as Best Actress at the 2018 Roar Awards and Inside Showbiz Awards. She released the first single from Miss Granny's movie soundtrack entitled Kiss Me, Kiss Me prior to the release of the film. The song went number one on iTunes Philippines and became an instant hit in the country. On July 15, Miss Granny's soundtrack was released and also went number one. While its tracks Isa Pang Raw Kiss Me, Kiss Me and Rain all stayed on iTunes Philippines songs chart during and even after the run of the film in Philippine cinemas. She represented the Philippines at the second ASEAN Japan Music Festival held at the NHK Hall in Tokyo on October 4 where she performed her original hits Kalamacho and Tala. The event was hosted by Hikaru Nishida and Pico Taro coincided with the 45th anniversary of the ASEAN Japan Friendship and Cooperation. She went to Dubai for her this 15 me concert and filled the 5,000-seater Dubai Duty Free Stadium on September 20. Days after performing on ASEAN Music Festival, Geronimo staged her Nagoya, Japan leg of this 15 me on October 7. She is set to stage her concert in Spain, Oman and various cities in the Philippines. While filming Miss Granny and touring the Philippines and the other side of the world for this 15 me Geronimo has been winning on various award-giving bodies in Manila. She won three awards at the 2018 MYX Music Awards including the Female Artist of the Year Award and was hailed by EDUX Circle Awards as the most influential actress for her 2017 film Finally Found Someone.
In November 2018, Geronimo was hailed as the best Filipino artist and the most popular BAMA 2018 artist at the 2018 Big Apple Music Awards. BAMA, Geronimo failed to attend the ceremony held in New York but according to BAMA, the trophies were already sent to Geronimo. She staged her this 15 Me Laguna concert in Santa Rosa Sports Complex, Laguna the next day. It was the first ever sold-out local show in the history of the set arena. On December 23, 2018, she was announced winner at Universal Music Awards 2018 in Warsaw, Poland with her song Garnito. She beat more than 200 entries from different countries including songs by Ed Sheeran, Little Mix, Charlie Puth, Taylor Swift and more. She also bangs popular award, while Charles as number one historic award. On December 26, 2018, Geronimo's song Sandado Top CNN Philippines the 15 Best Filipino Songs of 2018 Inches list. 2019 Present, Unforgettable, Tala Dance Craze and Concerts, on January 29, 2019, Geronimo performed in front of 130,000 people who attended the first ever Holy Mass of a Pope in the Middle East held at Zayed Sports City Stadium. She performed in front of fans at Zurich and Milan on May 3rd and 5th for her Europe concert tour after her this 15 the anniversary concert in 2018. Sarah also supports incumbent Senator Sonny Angara's re-election because of his advocacies. Sarah also sang her song Sarah as Angara's campaign jingle in 2013 and was reused in the upcoming elections. On May 30, 2019, Shopee, the leading e-commerce platform in Southeast Asia and Taiwan, announced her as the brand's newest ambassador. A TV commercial was aired on the 1st of June. Sarah G launched her own makeup line, Pop Studio, on May 31, 2019. It was a collaboration with iFace Incorporated. On June 2, Geronimo tied with Catherine Bernardo as Best Actress at the PMPC Star Awards for Movies 2019 against veteran actresses Judy Ann Santos, Gina Perino, Gloria Romero, and more. She was announced Star of the Week by a Germany-based entertainment website and Music Awards DAF Entertainment on July 31, 2019. Her newest film, Unforgettable, under Viva Films was released on October 23, 2019. It was directed by John Robles Lana, and also stars celebrity dog Milo, Gina Perino, Aramina, Meg Imperial, and more. On October 10, 2019, she won three awards from 2019 IED Awards including Female Artist of the Year, Best Song was written for a movie TV stage play, and Best Performance by a Female Recording Artist. In late 2019, Tala turned into a viral dance craze. On January 27, 2020, Geronimo's single Tala entered on the 12th spot on Billboard's digital song sales chart. The song also charted in more than 20 countries around the globe including the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and more after it regained its popularity. It also reached the global viral 50 in Spotify, as well as YouTube's weekly global chart of world's most viewed music videos. Citation needed. Geronimo Bank Best Actress Award from 4th Guild of Educators, Mentors, and Students, GEMS, HIAS and G Sinning Awards last February 13 for her unforgettable movie. On February 27, Geronimo's viral song Tala has reached 100 million views on YouTube, making Geronimo the first local solo female artist to achieve the milestone. Music and Voice, Geronimo's music is generally pop and sings songs mostly about love. International producer Christian De Walden praised Geronimo's voice and said the personality of her voice is phenomenally distinct. Many have great voices but they tend to imitate foreign divas like Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston. She definitely is the biggest talent I have come across within the last 10 years. Rito Piasillo of Philippine Daily Inquirer stated in a review of her album, it's hard to resist the rich and lush quality of her melodies when they fall smoothly and squarely on her confident middle registers and has praised her transition saying, her phrasing style to her interchanging shifts in vocal placement, from deep chest tones to heady soft trills, and back which isn't really a bad thing, in fact, it could represent growth because Sarah used to win her admirer solely with the lung-busting high notes. Influences, Geronimo has cited Michael Jackson as her major influence and she grew up singing and dancing to his music. Geronimo said, as a child, my dream was to be hugely popular like Michael Jackson. I wanted to have that kind of worldwide fame, added, I want to be like him while performing, everyone gets so wild and emotional. Besides that, I see him as not only a performer, he's an inspiration to many people, and that's what I also want to become. Geronimo also cited American pop star, Beyonce as one of her influences in singing and dancing live. Stage, after Geronimo's concert in Araneta Coliseum dubbed as The Other Side, the Manila Bulletin said. Sarah's very successful concert showcased the various facets of her personality. 
She's an old soul who can sing Celine Dion's If I Could and Mariah Carey's Through the Rain with such emotion. She's an 80s baby who can moonwalk to Billie Jean near the Michael Jackson. She's a budding belter who can hit the high notes of Whitney Houston's The Greatest Love of All with Regine Velasquez. Geronimo's participation in the What Love Is with Martin Nievera concert was described by Baby A. Gilbert of the Philippine Star with the comment, who needs a dancing Martin anyway when you have the long-limbed Sarah there, who is a daring, enthusiastic dancer. I like watching her dance and finding her moving even better now than the last time as a treat. Of course, she has also become an even better singer. To those who are want to ask, has she gotten rid of her Celine Dion tendencies? Well, she still sings a good to love you more, but she has obviously come to her own with fuller tones, nice, sexy low notes. In her 24-SG Concert People's Journal commented, Sarah has reached a new level in her career as a concert artist. In fact, she has earned the right to be called the concert queen of the new generation. Aside from her singing prowess, Geronimo's dancing skills has improved greatly. Her performance has earned her a win at the 2016 Classic Rock Awards in Tokyo as Best Asian Performer. Public Image Geronimo in Dubai, 2011, Camille Bersola of the Philippine Star described Geronimo as more than just a pop icon for being an inspiration, especially to today's youth. She stated, in amateur singing competitions, there will be at least three contestants that will have their own rendition of To Love You More or Forever is Not Enough. When these little girls are asked who their favorite singer is, and whose path they'd like to follow someday, you can bet more or less 75% of them will have the same answer, Sarah Geronimo. Quezon City Vice Mayor Joy Belmonte described Geronimo in the Philippine Star, she's wholesome on and off camera, untainted by unsavory rumors. She's an ideal daughter and that makes her a good role model for the youth. Wilson Lee Flores of the Philippine Star said, she is a breath of fresh air in terms of wholesome image, humility, real talent and source of good news for the Philippine entertainment industry. In 2005, Geronimo was awarded with Pinoy Wannabe Award, a prestigious Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards given to a celebrity whom kids consider as their role model. In 2006, QTV 11's magazine show Ang Pinaka named her as Ang Pinaka Idol Massinger and GMGA Mata. Geronimo however admitted it's not always easy protecting that image, especially since everyone looks up to her as a role model for young people. She said, it's a bit hard although I'd like to become a role model. I rather take it as a big challenge because it is probably my purpose being here in this industry. This may also be the reason why I'm being trusted by companies to promote their products. Media Reception In 2011, Geronimo was ranked as the third in the top celebrity endorsers by the AGB Nielsen Philippines Survey. In 2013, she ranks as the sixth highest female taxpayer and as fourth top endorser. In 2014, the entertainment publication Yes! Magazine ranked Geronimo as the most beautiful star, leading the list as the top one of the top 100 celebrities. She also ranks in 2014, as the fourth highest female celebrity taxpayer. Since 2014, Geronimo has been the most streamed solo Filipino artist in Spotify Philippines. In 2015, FAMAS named Geronimo the iconic movie queen of Philippine cinema. Currently when? Geronimo is the female celebrity with highest endorsement value. Esquire estimated, Geronimo's net worth from $10 million, $509.52 million, to $75 million, $3.82 billion. Personal life and philanthropy, Geronimo attended Dominican School Manila for her primary education. She enrolled at University of Santo Tomas Education High School but later completed her secondary education at Angelicum College. Geronimo studied Associate in Arts program in University of the Philippines Open University, UP Open University. Geronimo regularly holds benefit concerts for various charities for children and cancer patients and has been involved with several outreach programs and with Gaywad Kalinga. In November 2019, Sarah announced her engagement to longtime boyfriend, actor Matteo Gdeselli. They were secretly married in a Christian wedding at Victory Church, the fort past six in the evening, Thursday night officiated by senior pastor Paolo Panzalan on February 20, 2020.